Hey guys, welcome back to RC Brucey. As you can see outside today, we got the snow falling here in upstate New York. Expected two feet of snow. Not too much RC uh, stuff going on today. So you know what we did? Let me show you. Okay, like I said, wonder what I was doing. I come in here. Here's the old 3D printer. See if this guy gives you a clue. See if you guys can guess what we're making. And plus I wanted to show you guys that I'm actually 3D printing this at my house. And let's come on over here. This website here is called Thingiverse. And on Thingiverse I went through and I typed a word in there and I started searching and this stuff came up. Can anyone guess what I'm making? Does anyone know? There you go. That should be a big hint. On Thingiverse guys, I have found the center support for the drive shaft to keep the uh, the modification piece to keep the center drive shaft from be bending as everyone knows is problematic on the X-Max just happens to be mine is bent right now and I think what I'm gonna do I got the old drive shaft here the piece I believe I need I'm gonna cut that sucker in half get it in the X-Max fabricate that top plate there that goes over and I have a whole upgrade and modification for my X-Max and it literally cost me cents guys so uh, a couple weeks ago I did a video on uh, RC and 3D printing this is just another reason why I feel in my opinion why this technology and having a 3D printer can come into uh, into your hands and be of a great value. I think this is absolutely awesome that I'm sitting from my house in the snowstorm, like I said, started messing around looking. And uh, you won't believe all kinds of things, uh, like I said, on Thingiverse here that you can actually find. I just typed in XMAX, started going down through uh, searching, and uh, that's the stuff that came up. Uh, let's see if I can get the. Uh, this uh, what it actually comes up tracks this uh, X Max two piece dry shaft uh, STL file, and there you go, guys. Uh, but like once again, like I said, if you got it in your budget, guys, I would highly recommend going out and getting one of these uh, 3D printers. Uh, I got the Ender 3 Pro here, is what you're seeing. Very simple to set up. Wasn't hard. Uh, get it going, guys and uh, I've actually been printing stuff like crazy. Anyway, thanks for stopping in again. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, Kevin Talbot, let's see if I can pull it up one more time and I'll start up my yapping. Um, Kevin Talbot actually did a video on this and he's talking about, uh, there it is, it's actually on the Thingiverse site so if you wanna actually watch it, see what's involved with it. Uh, talks about buying it and everything else and like I said got a 3d printer guys the files up online and it's absolutely free so anyone's interested out there uh, anyway in the future I'm gonna do the video of me actually installing this and what I needed to do to get all these things to work together uh, pretty much for the cost of a dry shaft I think I can pull it off anyway stay tuned or look for that in the future guys thanks for watching RC Brucey guys and hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching once again. See you guys out there next time.